What's up guys, my name is Tyler. Welcome to another edition of The Lawn Review. Today we've got a lawn mower from one of the most recognized brands in the world. Right up there with Coke and Pepsi, Craftsman. The Craftsman V20 Series Electric Brushless Lawn Mower. Today we're gonna do a quick unboxing for you, let you know exactly what comes in the box, what you can expect when you buy it from one of your major big box stores like a Lowe's or Ace. Then we're gonna talk about uh, the user experience, what you can expect while using this, some of the versatility elements, some of the little nuances to it really uh, give you a good expectation of what you can expect when using this. And then we're gonna put some of their advertised claims to the test, like run time and charge time. Gotta let you know right off the bat, some of their claims are a little red flaggy. So we're really gonna dive in and see exactly what this mower will do in terms of runtime. And then we are going to talk about price and warranty. And then we're going to talk about whether or not this lawnmower gets the TLR stamp of approval. Stick around, let's check it out. So guys, if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much. Again, we're having a blast with you guys in the comment section. Love seeing the reoccurring names pop up there with watching different videos of ours. That's really cool and fun. Uh, you're a big part of our race to a thousand subscribers. We're about halfway there. So uh, if you're not a subscriber and you wanna learn a little bit more about lawn care, plant care, and the right tools for the job, make sure you smash that subscribe button. But also, if there's anything in this video that you think we can improve on or that we didn't cover that you wish we had covered, please throw it in the comment section. We would really appreciate it. It's helping us get better and better and hopefully put out better content for you guys in the future. But also, make sure you're hitting that like button as well. That's gonna help us with the algorithm, get our name out there to more people so more people can give us more feedback, which makes us better, which makes us put better content out for you guys. All right, guys, so just taking a quick look at what comes in the box of this Craftsman V20 series lawnmower straight out of the box from like Lowe's or Amazon or wherever you're gonna buy this, we're gonna show you exactly what comes in the box. So right on top of the box is an instruction manual with I think some fittings. Um, these might be extra, I don't know, we'll find out. A grass clippings deflector, a grass clippings collector, two five amp hour batteries, two charging stations for the 20 volt batteries. Really nice that they give you two charging stations. And then the mower itself. All right guys, so now that we know what comes in the box, let's hop into the user experience category. All right guys, so right off the bat, in terms of user experience, the, the mower itself is kind of like a goofy design. Uh, right, right when I saw it at Lowe's, I was like, oh, you gotta be kidding me. Like, I don't understand why these electric lawn care companies are making mowers that don't look anything like a standard mower. A big turnoff for a lot of people is the look of them. They, people like the way a lawn mower looks. They've grown accustomed to it, so, these little like nuance and weird things that these electric lawn care companies do, I think is deterring quite a few people from making the switch to gas to electric. But anyway, this is a hard plastic shell. It feels pretty, pretty sturdy of a shell, I will say. It is a 20 inch deck, a uh, plastic deck, not a metal deck. Some of the other manufacturers are starting to use metal decks, which I think is a great move, but sometimes when you're limited on battery and in your overall motor, it's hard to add any extra weight um, if you've got any sort of drive system to it it's just gonna suck the battery that much quicker and with that the overall weight of this mower is really light actually it's only like 35 pounds or so very easy to maneuver very easy to move around and store if you need to so that's a major plus in my opinion so this mower does come with a single mower blade and honestly I was pretty struck when I opened this and felt the blade at first I really had a hard time finding the sharp edge it's on this side but I was like, you gotta be kidding me. So keep that in mind when you when you buy this, you might need to give it a nice sharpen right before you use it. But like I said, it's, it's, it's pretty dull. And as you can tell, the Craftsman comes with, I think it looks like five or six inch plastic wheels. Honestly, these feel really cheap and I will be shocked if these things last more than a couple seasons. So the mower deck height versatility, there's five different settings ranging from 3.5 inches to one and a half. 
There's two points where you make these adjustments here on the front, which adjusts the first two wheels, and then another place to adjust the back two wheels right here. But there's just two points to make adjustments. So you can't, you can't change each wheel individually like some people like to do. So there's also one height setting. It's really right here. If you don't like that height, get over it because that's all you can do. The port to add the five amp hour batteries is obviously right here on the top of the deck. You just slide it in, similar to how most electric models are at this point. Uh, you just slide these two in here. So in order to get this Craftsman V20 mower up and running, there's a safety key that comes along uh, in the user manual. And you just put the safety key in here, press this side button right here, and pull down the bar to get the engine started. So to get this mower broken down and ready to store, all you do is flip up these two pivot points right here, fold it down, and it's basically as broken down as it's gonna get. And then you can lift it up and store it vertically like this. But I will say once you do that and let go, it just comes down. So I don't know if I'm missing something, which I am missing something, I see it right now. You flip those things in. So, sorry Craftsman, you're right. So one thing about this mower and particularly the batteries, there is no LED light indicator like some other manufacturers that tell you where you're at in terms of battery life on these uh, batteries themselves. A lot of uh, new, new models will have a light indicator that shows you where you're at um, and if you're close to dying. So with this mower, your guess is as good as mine. Um, it depends on grass height length and things like that, but you, you really, when you run out, you run out. So in terms of grass clipping discharge options, you really have three options, which is kind of standard for most mowers. You can do nothing and mulch the grass clippings, or you can add this grass chute that will throw your grass clippings and give you a side discharge, like so. Or you can remove that and then mulch your grass clippings. I will say that the TLR recommendation is to mulch your grass 99.999% of the time because it's free fertilizer. All right, guys. All right guys, so another user experience thing of note with this mower is that there is no power function, like no self-propel. Basically what this motor does is just spin the blade. There is no self-propel function. So if you want it to go, you gotta push it to go. A lot of the other models are gonna have like a self-propel function and Craftsman honestly does have a higher end model that has that self-propel function. But again, this is just 35 pounds, so it's really not heavy. And once it gets going, it doesn't really feel like you're pushing a whole lot of weight. But just keep that in mind that this has no self-propel function. All right, guys. So now that we've touched on the user experience of this Craftsman V20 series electric lawnmower, now we're going to put some of their claims or advertised claims to the test. Uh, they advertise a runtime of 50 minutes with two asterisks right next to it, which is always a red flag to me. I searched the website and I couldn't find anything talking about the two asterisks. So I don't really know what that means. I have a feeling that means with no resistance. So if you're running this mower for 50 minutes, like it'll run, but if you're cutting grass, it's gonna be shorter than that. But honestly, I have no idea because the website, I, for what I could find, didn't have any explanation for the two asterisks next to it. So we're gonna put that claim to the test and really see how long this mower will run. So guys, just a quick side note, if you have any idea how to get rid of a crepe myrtle stump, uh, that would be greatly appreciated. I've been trying for about two years to get rid of this thing. I completely ground down the stump uh, but obviously it just, well, well, I thought I completely ground down the stump. So if there's, if you guys have any tips on how to get rid of this, uh, that'd be greatly appreciated. I've got shoots all over my grass, um, up into some of these beds that I've made. I have no clue how to get rid of it. So if you could help me, that'd be great. All right, guys. So it's 954. I'm going to run this mower until it's dead and let you guys know how long the true runtime of this Craftsman V20 mower is.
All right, guys, so it's 1021 and the Craftsman V20 finally kicked out. So, yeah, it was about what? 35 minutes of runtime versus the advertised 50 minutes of runtime. I will say that my grass was a little wet, so I'll give it maybe five minutes. Um, but it's pretty far off from advertised. Uh, yeah, you're getting about 75% of the time that was advertised. So just keep that in mind when purchasing this, that you might need to have a couple extra batteries to get the full job done. But if you have a quarter acre or something like a half acre, where mine's probably three fourths of an acre, um, you'll probably be fine uh, with just the two batteries that come with it. But anything bigger than that, you're probably gonna need an extra battery or so if you wanna get the job done before uh, recharging these batteries. All right guys, so a quick charge time test. Again, Craftsman didn't even advertise what the charge time was on these two five amp hour batteries. So no idea what to expect, but I'm gonna sit here and see how long it takes. And it looks like they're both overheated. So I'm gonna have to wait until uh, they cool down to start the timer. Guys, it's 1035 and the batteries have cooled down enough to charge. So I'm just gonna slide these in. We're gonna see how long these, uh, these five amp hour batteries take to charge. So both these Craftsman chargers have light indicators that tell you where it's at in the charging process. Pretty basic, I guess. Um, a blinking light means that it's charging. This will light up red as you saw earlier when it's overheated or uh, too cold. And then this will hold um, a solid light when charging is complete on this uh, 5 amp hour battery. It's 12.43 and these batteries are still charging. Let's talk about price and warranty for this Craftsman brushless mower. This is going to run you, if you get it at Lowe's or Home Depot, this particular model is going to be $329. Now again, that comes with two batteries and two chargers. The mower itself, some bells and whistles and stuff like that, like an offshoot for the grass clippings and then a bag to collect grass clippings if that's what you want to do. But that's what you can expect uh, if you want to go, go out and buy this yourself. All right, guys, so the final TLR assessment of this Craftsman mower really wanted to hate this mower because of the design i felt like it was kind of goofy and i felt like my neighbors would laugh at me if they saw me using this but i'll be dang it was it was actually pretty capable it, it powered through my backyard it powered through my front yard and i haven't cut my grass in probably three weeks because it's been so hot here but it's finally started to rain and grow quite quickly uh so my grass actually got higher than i wanted it to and this craftsman had no problem it didn't bog down ever at all powered straight through it. Now, I will say that the battery runtime was less than advertised for sure. But if you have a quarter acre um, and maybe you're, you are you don't wanna deal with a mower that's really heavy, maybe you're elderly or just wanna be able to store this and move this around really quickly and you know don't have to have the most powerful longest runtime mower, absolutely. I think this is a great mower. It honestly really surprised me. Um, I told my neighbor that I really wanted to hate this mower, but I actually, I don't like it. Um, there's no bells and whistles to it. There's no light indicators like, you know, on the Ego or Ryobi. Um, so there's not a lot of bells and whistles to it, but I mean, honestly, it does what it, it it's supposed to do. It cuts your lawn. Um, I will say some of the pros um, are that it is lightweight uh, because it is not a self-propelled mower. Uh, you gotta push it yourself. Uh, I like that it's lightweight. It was very easy to maneuver. Uh, very easy to store again all you do is pop these things out and fold it down um, so it does what it's supposed to do um, some of the cons I don't like and don't anticipate these uh, plastic wheels lasting a really long time uh, the plastic deck uh, I could see chipping if I run over a rock or something like that but I mean I don't think it's gonna like blow apart or anything um, and so but then also I will say that because it is lightweight I know I said that was a pro, but I also kind of at times can see that as a con um, because it did bounce quite a bit. I've got moles all over my yard, mole holes and tunnels, um, and it was really affected by the uh, bumps in my yard. So that's, you know, a pro and con. You got to consider that. But I would say, in my personal opinion, the pros outweigh the cons here. Honestly, I wanted to come in here and light this mower up and say it was a piece of junk. But it's really not. Honestly, I feel like Craftsman did a pretty good job with this mower. 
All right, guys, thanks so much for checking out this week's video. Again, like and comment on this video. Comment if there's anything we left out at all on this video that you'd like us to touch on or test out with this thing. Um, we'll obviously have it so we can test it out for you. I'd be more than happy to. But also, if uh, you have any tips on how to get rid of that crepe myrtle stump, that would be amazing. Honestly, it's the bane of my existence right now. I hate that thing more than anything in the world. So if you can help me get rid of that, that would be awesome. But also, it would really help us out if you guys would subscribe to this channel. Again, we're on that road to 1,000 subscribers. There's a lot of functionality in YouTube that we can't do until we get to 1,000 subscribers. So if you don't mind hitting that subscribe button, that would be awesome. Also, be checking out our website, thelawnreview.com. You're going to find a full, in-depth, detailed, written review on this mower, along with hundreds of other mowers that we've reviewed, some head-to-head -head comparisons, best of lists, you name it, or just single product reviews like this. So make sure you head on over to thelawnreview.com and check us out there. Until next time, keep cutting. We'll see y'all again. <laughs>